Hi there again. My thought of the day is about artificial intelligence and regression. What we face with is a whole lot of engineers and their companies and those protagonists around them that are talking about artificial never matching human intelligence. There was this guy James Vlaos who built a chatbot um, out of uh, old sound footage from his dad and so forth and you could actually talk to your dad, you know, interactively. You know, he said, well, obviously you should never have the feeling that, uh, that your dad is still alive or something like that. But you know what? The problem for me seems to be that he sort of extrapolates, he sort of takes him as an example for everyone. You know, engineers are, you know, known, maybe not quite right, but they're known to be not be the most intuitive when it comes to sort of creativity on the spiritual side, let's say it like this. And nobody really can make sure that people that use this technology, especially if it gets better and when it gets better, um, that they don't really have the feeling that they are connected to the supernatural, to all these different things. And let's look what happened to, to um, what marketing did to people in terms of their bodies. I mean, they were told, stay in your comfort zone. I will bring you the food. I will make the processed food for you. Do this, get your pizza home, do this and that. Everything is about the comfort zone. And you know what? People did it. They stayed at home. And look at the obesity crisis, the motivational crisis in a way that comes with it. Isn't there a similar problem when it comes to artificial intelligence. I mean, if we tell people that artificial intelligence is going to make things happen for you, you will not have to use your brain that much like before. In other words, people on a broader scale, not those engineers that built the system, but, you know, on a broader scale are told, you know, use the system. So they get into a mental uh, comfort zone as well. It causes regression. They stay at a lower developmental, de developmental stage. And in a nutshell, you could say, well, artificial intelligence will never reach the maximum capacity of what human intelligence is capable of doing, you know, where all those smart people operate. But you know what? Maybe they, it doesn't have to, because human intelligence on a societal level comes halfway. And that's what we're facing. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit. But, you know, if you look at the uh, crisis of the human body in the Western society societies, is that really that exaggerated? 